Chapter 17 Economic Problems and Challenges Poverty and Unemployment Introduction Indian economy experiences many serious and complex economic and social problems such as population growth, price rise, black money, poverty, unemployment, starvation, corruption, terrorism, etc., among which economic problems like poverty, unemployment, price rise, population increase are major problems. Out of these, we shall study about poverty and unemployment. Poverty A large number of people are deprived of satisfying their basic and essential requirements of the life, such as food, clothes, shelter, education and health services. Such a situation is known as comprehensive poverty and people living in such a condition in the society are called poor. People living below poverty line or BPL. Poverty is a qualitative concept. In India, poverty is viewed as lowest level of life. Common features of people living below poverty line are as follows. Person who is not able to get two meals a day. People suffer from problem of unavailability of dwelling place. They are forced to live in shabby or slum areas. Their income is less than determined expected income. Their lifespan is less than national average life expectancy. Generally, they are illiterate. Very often, they suffer from various diseases due to lack of nutritious food. Children who have taken up the responsibility of looking after the family at the age when they are supposed to study. Death rate is high due to malnutrition. Efforts made by the government to improve living standard of people living below poverty line. Income of people living below poverty line is very less in cities as well as in villages. Such families are called Antyode family or families living below poverty line, BPL. After finding out such families, government has started public distribution system on the basis of ration card. These shops are called fair price shops. Every month, they fulfill the requirements like rice, wheat, sugar, oil, salt and kerosene, etc. of such families. It has tried to raise their living standard. Concept of poverty was first propounded by director of WHO. For calculating poverty line, certain factors are considered, which includes expenditure on food, clothing, accommodation, education, health, clean drinking water, electricity, sanitation facilities, transportation facilities, and income, as well as the intake of calories. On the basis of these factors, a particular standard of living is fixed which is known as poverty line. Measurement of poverty. There are two ways of knowing the number of people living below the poverty line. One, on the basis of expenditure behind various commodities or services by a family. Two, on the basis of total income of the family. Family means minimum five members. Absolute poverty. Those people of the society who are not able to purchase the basic necessities of life like food grains, pulses, milk, vegetables at lowest market rate are said to be absolute poor. Relative poverty. A society has different income groups among them. Some groups have low income in comparison to other. Such a group is considered to be relative poor. A. 10,000, B, 20,000, C, 30,000. Here, income of three persons is different. As the income of A is less in relation to B, person A is considered to be poor. In the same way, income of A and B is less in relation to C. So they are considered as poor. Poverty in India in order to decide poverty line, 2011-12 Planning Commission of India declared per capita expenditure for rural area as 816, which means 
4080 per family expenditure and for urban area per capita expenditure was fixed at the rate of 1000 per person at least accordingly family expenditure was declared to be at least 5000 this means at least this much per capita income should be there to reach out expenditure on the basis of new criteria number of the poor has reduced to 27 crore in 2011-12 and rate of poverty has reduced to 21.9 percent in the ratio of total population in 2009-10 ratio of poverty in relation to population of india was 29.8 percent thus approximately 35.47 crore people were living in poverty in order to see that equality prevails at the international level world bank has decided per capita income as 1.9 us dollar in 2012 as per the rate of 2008 which is considered as the scale for poverty line according to one report of world bank india's total population was approximately 121 crore in 2010 out of which 32.7 percent people were living in below poverty line which makes about 45.6 crore as per the report of UNDP 2015 ratio of poverty in India in 2011-12 was 21.92 percent of the total population out of which proportion of poverty at the rural level was 25.7 percent while at the urban level it was 13.7 percent it means that out of total poor that is 26.93 crores 21.65 crore people in the rural area and only 5.28 crore people in urban area Chhattisgarh 36.93 percent is the poorest state of India while Goa 5.09 percent has lowest poverty rate in Gujarat the proportion of poverty is 16.63 percent Chhattisgarh Assam Uttar Pradesh Manipur Bihar Arunachal Pradesh Jharkhand Orissa etc have more than 30 percent proportion of poverty in India India is bestowed with natural resources in large quantity and is prosperous in natural raw material but because of lack of ability to make worthy profit from them lack of education and skill defective planning since years these natural resources have not been utilized to their best possible extent for welfare of people as a result of it proportion of poverty has not reduced so it is said the poor live in wealthy India rural poor generally landless laborers farm laborers artisans of cottage industries or small-scale industries marginal farmers beggars forced laborers inhabitants of forests or mountainous region tribals temporary craftsmen etc are called rural poor urban poor temporary laborers laborers on daily wages domestic workers rickshawalas workers in tea stalls or hotels or dhabas workers working in garages beggars who are not able to satisfy their minimum and basic necessities and live in poverty are considered to be urban poor reasons of poverty the origin of poverty is more deep-rooted in villages rural areas as compared to urban areas following are the reasons for it decrease in income from agriculture sector because of insufficient development in the field of agriculture and insufficient irrigation facilities lack of alternative employment apart from farming lack of knowledge regarding their employment education skill or training in the rural area increase in debt as a result of excessive expenditure because of caste system and orthodoxy traditions and customs thus it may be said that it is due to increase in unproductive expenditure due to illiteracy the poor become victim of exploitation and injustice along with that 
they are not able to get proper benefit of government schemes because of lack of information. Due to ignoring necessities and economic welfare of the poorest section of the society during formation of economic policies. Production of cash crops was encouraged while production of edible crops was reduced. This triggered the scarcity of food grains and pulses and price rise because of which people could not get meals twice a day. Because of execution of economic reforms, rural economy collapsed, cottage and small-scale industries broke down, migration increased, income in agriculture sector decreased. Poor people are becoming victims of malnutrition and diseases. Expenditure on health increased, although income was static, but expenditure on medicines increased. Due to change in technology, traditional business, cottage industries, etc., deteriorated and unemployment increased. There was an increase in population growth, death rate decreased, average lifespan increased, supply of labor increased in comparison to demand of labor, so unemployment increased. On the other side, the production of things of basic requirement decreased. There was price rise. Downfall in purchase power was experienced. Living standard deteriorated. Thus, poverty increased. Strategy for Poverty Eradication The vicious cycle of poverty is increasing its grip. Reasons for it have been understood in short. On the basis of it, it has become easy to understand which type of strategy is to be adopted to remove poverty. Till now, 11th year plan has been completed. Till then, neglection of rural areas in strategy for development of Indian economy and work plan is found mainly responsible for poverty. Golden pinnacle of Indian economy may be there in urban areas, but the base lies in rural areas only. Villages are the heart of Indian economy, so in order to keep them alive and prosperous, a large part of the budget should have been spent after them. Actual economic development, social development and cultural development of India is possible by developing villages only. Thus, through the program Gramode Se Bharat Uday, present government has implemented the basic idea that the upliftment of the country is possible only through the upliftment of villages. Central and state government have emphasized on implementation of new plans and programs for removal of poverty. For this, stress has been laid on improvement of basic needs of life, development of agriculture sector and cottage, small-scale industries, etc. If opportunities for employment will be created, a flow of income will increase and poverty will be decreased. After independence, Government has given a thrust to development of large-scale, heavy and key industries along with slogan Garibi Hatao or Remove Poverty. For their development, encouragement has been given to the development of cities. On the other hand, with the objective of Green Revolution, land reform acts have been implemented so that development may be there in agriculture sector, as a result of which production will increase employment opportunities will be created, employment will be increased and poverty level could be reduced. It was believed that, as a result of development of industries, benefits achieved by owners of industries will increase. Income of rich farmers or landlords will be distributed among poor people. But this strategy proved to be optimistic bubbler. Speed of economic development of the country remained slow. Along with slow economic development, distribution of income was inequitable and unequal. As a result of it, income and wealth was concentrated in the hands of few rich people only. Thus, no improvement was there in the condition of poor people. As a result of improper distribution of the income, rich became richer and the poor remained where they were. In order to remove the disparity of income, Government framed such type of taxation policy so that the poor may get commodities essential for their life and production of such commodities increases. For this purpose, 
heavy tax was levied on the luxurious goods used by rich people, articles and services of luxury or enjoyment. For this, strategy was made to provide essential commodities to the poor people from fair price shops, FPS, under public distribution systems, PDS. By doing so, it has tried to improve the living standard of the poor. Thus, government has tried that there should be decrease in the production of luxurious items utilized by rich and available resources should be utilized to produce the commodities used by poor people. Therefore, government has undertaken such efforts. As a result, there will be increase in employment among the poor, ability to work would increase production and finally income would increase leading to better lifestyle. Understanding the need to improve agriculture sector, government implemented many programs like Land Sealing Act, Regulation of Tenancy Act, Security of Cultivating Rights, etc., so that there is decrease in the income of rich farmers and landlords and increase in income of farm laborers or tenants, so that there may be improvement in the condition of the poor. Government has announced the policies to encourage agriculture, agriculture-related industries such as cattle rearing, dairy industry, pisciculture and afforestation. It helps in order to develop small irrigation schemes, household industries, cottage industries, small-scale industries, etc. In order to make people self-reliant, government has stressed on labor-intensive industries so that employment increases. At the same time, it also announced policies and helped many traditional industries, handloom and cottage industries. Arrangements have been made for many household industries so that there is increase in employment in rural areas. It has made arrangements to see that the youth of rural area get opportunities of alternative employment. For this purpose, objective-based education, training and skill development programs have been started. Government has implemented programs of self-employment as a part of strategy to improve their condition. For this purpose, new fields of employment have been opened so that their income increases. Government has improved the structure of education, health, residence, employment, family planning, communication, etc. It has improved irrigation facilities, roads, crop protection, skills and training field, agriculture, developed varieties of crops, bank loans for obtaining seeds, fertilizer, tractor, etc. Such type of variety of steps have been undertaken for rural upliftment. Employment fields have been created in the home itself, so that the youth does not migrate towards the cities, which causes the burden of population in cities. It has started schools at the village and secondary and higher secondary schools have been opened at a close distance. By starting colleges at a close distance, facility has been created to provide technical and vocational courses and training centers. In order to take care those students complete their higher studies, they are encouraged by giving them motivation in the form of economic help like scholarship, facility of fee reduction, residential schools promoting girls' education. Many programs for women empowerment have been started to make women self-reliant economically. Various solid steps have been taken to create self-employment. Thus, government is taking valid steps to combat the demon of poverty strategically. India will have to take firm steps to fulfill the dream of eradicating deep-rooted problems of poverty and to complete the mission of World Bank regarding eradication of poverty from the world by 2030. Poverty Alleviation Program PAP In order to make poverty alleviation solutions successful, the rural and urban people living below poverty line should get direct financial benefit from various welfare schemes. There may be change in the names of these programs, but the basic objective is to create opportunity of employment for families suffering from poverty, improve agriculture, 
rural upliftment, food security, provide education, develop skill through training so that the economic condition may improve leading social security and may bring them above poverty line. Present central and state government have implemented many welfare programs. It has tried to improve living standard of poor in cities by improving geographical and infrastructural services with the reduction in unemployment poverty will reduce. Poverty alleviation program or schemes may be divided into five sections. Wage-based employment program, self-employment program, programs related to food security, programs related to social safety, programs of elimination of poverty in urban areas. Presently, many series of programs are implemented in these five sections, but we will be making compiled and omnibus discussion of main programs out of them as follows. Major objective of following schemes mentioned below is to provide employment in the field of agriculture and irrigation, road, food security, organic farming and selling of agricultural products so that direct income is earned which will improve the financial condition of the poor. Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinchai Yojana Under National Agriculture Plan, there should be increase in agriculture growth rate and sectors related to it, improvement in irrigation facilities. Irrigation facility should reach every part of agricultural land, drip irrigation system should be used, along with construction of small, big, medium-sized check dams to combat water problem, so that every field gets water. Such type of steps have been taken so that farmers are saved from dangers of agriculture and debt and they become free from the vicious circle of poverty by providing them employment in order to fulfill their income. Prime Minister Farm Safety Insurance Plan By improving farm safety insurance plan, farmers are to be helped at the time of natural calamity by providing them economic support. Government started giving bonus at the purchase of cotton and concession at loss or damage of crops. Kshiti Mukt Krishi Bhav Panch has been set up to stabilize the prices. National Drinking Water Program Programs like providing water to every field, improving existing canal network, stop soil erosion, new tube wells for tribals, prevention of salinity have been implemented. Other than this program of digging ponds, watershed development, construction of tanks, conservation of rainwater, afforestation, constructing lining of canal, planting trees and shrubs, renovation and revitalization of check dams, etc. have been started so that people get employment in the rural areas and families come out of the vicious circle of poverty. State government has provided finance at low rate of interest from banks for kharif crops, cattle rearing, storing fertilizer and also taken solid steps in irrigation schemes of central government. Gujarat government has undertaken programs for poverty elimination. Since last 10 years, government has been organizing poverty welfare fair for helping farmers to become self-reliant. Reward scheme under this program, agriculture market has been set up for the farmers in which farmers may get their products listed online, trader may bid from any place. Objective of this plan is to save farmers from loss faced by them due to mediators, brokers and they get more remuneration and earn more economic profit due to competition. Thus, such steps should be taken which develop agriculture and yield maximum returns so that farmer remains involved in agriculture business. From Gramode to Bharat Uday Through such programs, farmer-oriented plans have been made to prevent loss faced by farmers due to wild animals damaging the crops by providing them economic help to build fencing to protect their crops, production of grass for cattle at the time of crisis or drought, and to help to construct cattle shelter. 
for rain forecasting and discovering mineral rich regions through ultra modern satellite or drone technique provision is made to maintain record of land survey they get help in the form of availability of finance at low rate of interest for mechanization of farming example to produce tractor and mini tractor help in the form of subsidy help in construction of water tank improving quality of plantation crops computerization in agriculture finance society set up new testing laboratory for production of cotton pulses spices management to see that farmers get a suitable price making ponds deep by removing soil from them increasing drops and size construction of farm pond cleaning the canals and reservoirs for water storage and increasing their length resettlement of water tank and repairing of check dams and increasing water storage capacity etc so that farmers may get employment during time apart from farming at the same time permanent property is set up in the rural area thus central as well as state governments have tried to save farmers from debt by helping them through this scheme din dayal upadhyay gram jyoti yojana this plan is an effort to supply electricity to the rural areas without any hindrance 24/7 day and night providing electricity at homes and farms at concessional rates lay down new lines to take electricity facility for 18000 villages which do not have electricity setting up new electricity substations and helping farmers by providing subsidy to purchase equipments for agriculture sector so that poor farmers may get a support to increase income subsidy is also provided for obtaining electricity through solar energy and to purchase solar technical equipments integrated dairy development scheme for tribal women for cattle rearing under this program help is provided for the development of geoponics and plantation agriculture to help them to make pavilion for creeper crops training and guidance for organic farming grading and packaging encouragement to organic farming in this helping farmers in registration paying fees help in purchasing farm products arrangement for training and education of farmers finance at low rate arrangement for setting up proper market etc along with environment protection and reduction in expenditure in agriculture sector are the major objectives of this scheme chief minister village road scheme under this planning is done regarding work related to roads village panchayats were helped to connect villages with one another through roads and highways programs like construction of toilets are implemented ma annapurna yojana under this program absolute poor families and people living below poverty line in cities and villages are given 35 kg food grains per family every month by gujarat government which is provided free of cost and the poor people of middle class are given 5 kg food grains at low rate in which wheat is given at the cost of rupees 2 per kilogram rice rupees 3 per kilogram at fair price shops 3.62 crore people who are covered under this scheme get the benefits of food security because of which a large sum of money spent on food will be saved objective behind it is to bring happiness on the face of people because they would be spending their saving to purchase other things and improve their standard of living sansad adarsh gram yojana objectives of this scheme is to stop migration of the people from the villages to city for this members of the parliament improve education health employment facilities in the village adopted by them in their constituency thus they set up ideal village other than this to create permanent public assets to develop opportunities for good life rural upliftment taking care of cultural heritage creating opportunities for employment through social harmony increase in human development etc mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act 
मनरेगा एम्प्लॉयमेंट ओरिएंटेड मनरेगा प्रोग्राम हैज बिकम पॉपुलर विद द स्लोगन आर विलेज आर वर्क अलोंग विद रीजनेबल प्राइस ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ मनरेगा इज टू एनहांस लाइवलीहुड फॉर फैमिलीज और अडल्ट लिविंग इन रूरल एरियाज ऑफ स्टेट हु कैन डू फिजिकल लेबर दो अनस्किल्ड बट आर विलिंग टू वर्क फॉर दिस पर्पज वन पर्सन फ्रॉम एवरी फैमिली इज गारंटीड वेज एम्प्लॉयमेंट फॉर एटलीस्ट वन हंड्रेड डेज दैट इज सेवन आवर्स पर डे इन अ फाइनेंशियल ईयर द गवर्नमेंट हैज फिक्स द वेज रेट अकॉर्डिंगली इट पेज डेली वेजेस If after asking for work government fails to provide employment then as per rule government has to pay unemployment allowance in this works like work for development of village construction of personal toilets personal wells work leveling the land plain horticulture labor work in indra avas yojana cattle shade making organic manure shade for cocks and goats yard for drying fish cleaning of canal works related to water storage tree plantation on roads are included by guaranteeing definite wage based employment from these to every family government tries to improve living standard of poor people under this program mission mangalam through this program state government has united women from families living below poverty line in sakhi mandal or self helping groups here they are given skill based training so that they may generate employment for themselves through household industry circle and come out of the vicious cycle of poverty by preparing papad pickle agarbatti or incense stick etc dattopant thegdi vyaj shay yojana through this scheme government provides loan to artisans of handicraft and handloom cottage industries at low rate of interest to purchase raw material jyoti gram udyog vikas yojana objective of this plan is to provide self employment opportunities to the unemployed in the rural areas to increase income and set up industry by giving them economic help and subsidy for establishing industrial plant implements electricity land etc With the new idea of Startup India, government provides training, free electricity, land and economic help to the unemployed youth who are interested in setting up industry. Bajpai Bankable Yojana. Under the program, urban and rural unemployed of age group 18 to 65 who are educated till 4th standard are given training. so that they may set up industry or carry on traditional craft they are also given finance of fixed amount so that they may generate self employment through agro business policy 2016 state government has implemented plan to provide employment to 10 lakh people by setting up agro food processing unit along with helping in export of processed food products so that poverty may be reduced unemployment among current problems of india problem of unemployment is crucial poverty originates due to unemployment this is a long term problem and has got deep rooted in economy maximum countries of the world are facing problem of unemployment meaning unemployment one who is adult whose age is 15 to 60 years who is ready to work at the prevalent market rate of wages has energy and qualification to work who is in search of work but is not getting work such a person is said to be unemployed such type of a condition in group is called unemployment if people who demand wages more than the prevalent market rate who are not in age group of 15 to 60 who are handicapped weak sick or old lazy housewife those who are not willing to work in spite of being capable are not considered as unemployed types of unemployment following are the types of unemployment in indian economy seasonal unemployment due to lack of irrigation facilities irregularity in rainfall and lack of alternative employment farmers have to remain unemployed for 3 to 5 months in india this is called 
Seasonal unemployment. Frictional unemployment. When new technology is introduced in place of old technology, labors remain unemployed for some time. This is called frictional unemployment. Structural unemployment. Indian economy is backward and orthodox. Social backwardness, traditional orthodoxy, customs, illiteracy and lack of structural facilities are responsible for structural unemployment. Disguised unemployment. Sometimes more than required number of workers are involved in an occupation. Even if a few laborers are removed from work, no decrease is recorded in total production. So these extra laborers are said to be unemployed in a disguised way. Industrial unemployment. In the industrial field, if anyone has to remain unemployed for short term or long term due to changes taking place in industrial sector, such a situation is called industrial unemployment. Educated unemployment. If a person has obtained at least secondary education or degree and is unemployed, he is called educated unemployed. Proportion of unemployment in India. There is difference in state-wise condition of unemployment in India. Because of indifference of employment exchange in registering the details of people interested in getting the job, it is difficult to take out exact or approximate figure. Still, on the basis of figures of Labour and Employment Ministry of India and National Sample Survey, NSS, we get an idea about comprehensiveness of unemployment. According to census counting of 2011, 116 million people were in search of employment, 32 million people were uneducated unemployed, and 84 million were educated unemployed. Approximately 4.70 crore people of 15 to 24 age group were unemployed. According to the Survey of Labour Bureau 2013-14, Rate of unemployment in India was observed to be 5.4% and in Gujarat per thousand people, 12 persons, 1.2% were unemployed. In 2009-10, per thousand people, 34 persons, 3.4% were unemployed in urban area in India. While in rural area, 16 people, 1.6% were unemployed. Ratio of educated unemployed was more in urban area. Rate of educated unemployment was more in urban area. Rate of unemployment in women was 7.7% in 2013. In India, more unemployment has been witnessed in states like Sikkim, Kerala, West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Jammu Kashmir, Tripura while ratio of unemployment in Himachal Pradesh, Karnataka, Haryana, Chandigarh and Gujarat has remained low. Condition of employment in Gujarat is good and noteworthy. According to an estimation, 15% highly educated people are youth. 66% youth of the world who are youth of 35 years of age live in India. If India wants to become superpower on the basis of youth, it will have to change unpleasant form of unemployment. Main reasons responsible for increasing unemployment in India are increase in population, theoretical knowledge only, lack of practical knowledge, lack of technical knowledge or skill, failure in providing complete employment, irregularity in rainfall in agriculture area and more risk, losing interest in agriculture sector, improper irrigation facilities, lack of alternative employment during time other than agriculture season, weak condition of cottage industries, household industries and small-scale industries, caste system, joint family system, people who are forced to follow traditional business or family business, lack of courage to set up new business, Flows in knowledge, skill, training and experience, immobility of labor, flawless planning of labor, 
low growth rate of industrial development, less rate of saving tendency. Thus, decrease in rate of capital creation was there. New business industry cannot be set up due to lack of investment. Efforts to reduce unemployment Problem of unemployment is the weakest link of our planning. Poverty and unemployment are the two sides of the same coin. Both are interrelated. Main reason for poverty is unemployment. This challenging problem has mainly affected educated youth. As a result, they lost attitude of interest towards studies, negative effect on social and mental condition is seen. They become disappointed psychologically. If they remain unemployed for long time, they get involved in antisocial or immoral activities, for example, drug trafficking, illegal activities, robberies, recovering ransom, etc. Increase in social and economic inequality is there. Class discrimination begins. Fall in living standard. When price rise joins unemployment, condition of the poor and unemployed becomes more narrowing and pathetic. He turns towards narcotic drugs and other addictions. Thus, unemployment has proved to be deadly for individual, family as well as economy. We have studied about plans of government to remove unemployment while studying about poverty alleviation programs. Let's recall them. Other than those, many effective steps have been taken by the government which are as follows. By aiming high goal, economic development of 10% per year which is acceptable to all. Increasing capital investment and opportunities of employment. New fields should be opened for fast and balanced economic development along with development in agriculture sector, small and household industries, cottage industries, etc. In order to increase employment, government has started giving economic help, education, opened training centers through different schemes. Government should lay stress on development of units using labor-intensive method for production of consumer goods, small and cottage industries, gramudyog, handloom and handicraft skill. For this, encouraging policies should be implemented in the schemes. More number of people may be employed in rural area by less investment by developing new method at the rural level in which more than one crop may be taken from the field in order to remove unemployment during the time when farmers are not engaged in agriculture, to bring new land under cultivation, arranging water and electricity for every field, small and big irrigation scheme dam, check dam, ponds, canals, tube well, activities of construction of road, activities related to agriculture, poultry, fishery, cattle rearing, dairy industry, programs of afforestation. For this, planning should be employment oriented. Employment opportunities should be increased in villages so that villagers get enough income and working in their own village only so migration towards cities may be reduced and pressure on demand of employment may be decreased. Encouraging plantation agriculture, organic farming, dry farming and multi-cropping, growing vegetables and fruits. Importance should be given to improvement of quality of education in villages. In order to sustain human development in rural areas, health, education, pure drinking water, nutritious food, electricity, roads, banking, insurance, internet, improvement in communication and entertainment, water harvesting activities, constructing permanent public property, development of local industries and encouraging them, adopting employment-oriented programs should be undertaken. Qualitative life of rural people as well as result-oriented improvement has been the main objective. In order to decrease educated unemployment and unemployment among youth, skills should be developed and employment should be provided as per the qualification. 
such type of business oriented or technical education policy should be adopted which produce skilled artisans curriculum of schools and colleges should be such that it satisfies the requirement of local industries such type of efforts should be made by providing education and training to the youth special skills may be developed in them quality improves along with production employment increases increase in income and improvement in living standard they should be given assurance that they keep on getting employment labor ministry of indian government and state government have implemented ambitious programs like make in india skill india and digital india to enhance knowledge understanding enthusiasm and work capacity of youth along with industrial development for this educational and training programs have been started to develop skill technical colleges and universities have been set up nationwide they should provide education facility as per vocational curriculum and modern technology efforts are being made to fulfill requirement of employment through near curriculum in schools and colleges vocational and technical education government has opened new areas of employment to plan manpower lot of employment opportunity is there in computer technology information technology pharmaceutical business management packing and processing outsourcing marketing catering event management office management hotel management share stock marketing etc so new curriculum has been set up in the universities fulfilling local requirement accordingly curriculum of education training and teaching has been changed so that it may fulfill the requirement of job in future at the end of acquiring education short term diploma or certificate courses have been started to fulfill the need of manpower like course in spinning weaving tanning plumbing radio tv fridge mobile ac repairing as a result of revolution in the field of automobile electronics computer science genetic science aerospace robot making new courses have been started in order to produce skilled artisans engineers and technicians it has tried to provide loan at less rate of interest to the entrepreneurs under startup india for promoting new business mutual coordination has become possible because of cooperation between local industries and training institutes so that as per local requirement supply of labor could be made for generating employment and in place of white collar job self employment should be fostered with government's economic help for this purpose such an environment and proper and strong structure should be created that educational courses and educational expenses become cheaper and admission becomes easy it is necessary that new business industry should be set up for industrial growth and generating of new employment opportunities investment is essential for development of skill cooperation to increase entrepreneurship among youth in order to promote opportunities of self employment government has started many plans for providing of financial help at low rate of interest for small investments for various purpose to purchase implements small margin raw material or office furniture initially along with help for selling produced goods efforts have been started to provide technical and commercial knowledge managerial skills help with the efforts of banks economical help of financial institutes economical easy loan facility local businessmen and welfare organization women have been provided self employment by setting up household industries thus coming out of the traditional business a new firm of members of family was prepared which expanded the horizon of new business and industrial sector
employment exchange centers work as a chain between unemployed and owners who were in search of such youth who were looking for employment, labors, workers, or educated, skilled, and unskilled labor. This organization provides authentic information regarding registration of educated unemployed, this place, and the type of work. It gives guidance in choosing one's own career. These centers provide sufficient information through magazines like Rozgar Karkirdi. It provides free services through Model Career Center and helpline number 1800-425-1514 helps people by providing them important information, skill program, employment fair, etc. Till 2015, there were 947 employment exchange centers in our country, in which, till 2012, 468.23 lakh unemployed had registered all over the country, while in Gujarat, 830 lakh unemployed had registered their names. World Labor Market when change of labors is there among nations of the world, it is called world labor market. When laborers migrate from one country to another for employment, business, training or higher education, it is called movement of labor at international level. Walk out of brain power for educational knowledge, higher technical knowledge and skill development in search of more income, more facility, Better job is brain drain or migration at the international level. Because of increasing social status recently, country-wise mobility of labor became popular in a noteworthy manner. As a result of migration to other countries or due to permanent settlement of intelligent and talented people who have spent lot of money on them, facing a great flaw of personalities having talent and intelligence, technical knowledge and scientific attitude. As a result of globalization and liberalization, a new situation has started arising in our economy. In the present time, demand for people having knowledge and skill in information technology, communication, technology, biotechnology, computer or medical has increased. Many countries are appointing such people who have special qualification and skill as trained expert labors and experts. They adopt attractive tactics and practices with high perks. Industrial firms send their employees to foreign countries to obtain required qualification, knowledge and skill so that they may survive the competition. This is a part of international migration. Like country receives foreign exchange as a part of income due to migration of people to foreign countries for jobs. Because of the flow of foreign money into our country in this way, problem of foreign exchange is solved to certain extent.